Welcome. I hope that you're doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to scale parts and objects that you are creating in your Roblox games in Roblox Studio. By doing this, you'll be able to make parts and models larger or smaller so that they can be the size that you would like them to be. Let's get started. So you want to have Roblox Studio open and as you're working on your game, you'll be adding parts and objects and models into the game. And so the first thing you want to do is add a part. And with the part selected, now my part was placed way over there on the map. If, if, you, if you add a part and you don't quite see it, you want to scroll out. Use the scroll wheel on your uh, mouse to scroll in and out. Or you can use the W or S keys on your keyboard. You can also press F uh, with the part selected and then I'll, I'll focus on the part. So I've got my part. And let's say I would like to make this larger. And the way I want to do this is go up to the Home tab and click on Home. And then I'm going to first click on Scale. And so by pressing the scale buttons, these three dots will show up. So there's a blue dots, red, and uh, green dots. And each one of these uh, has to deal with the different axes. So if I do the blue dots, it will move along that axis. And then if I use the red, it'll move this direction. And then the uh, green will move up and down. And so that way I was able to scale the part to make it look different. So it started out more like a rectangle and I made it look more like a box. So uh, once you that's the easiest way to scale a uh, part on the game that you were creating. Now let's say you're working with a model. So again, to find models, uh, you might have models that you created, or you can go over to the toolbox and then click down on models. And then let's say I wanted to add something like uh, this tree. Let's look for a tree. So so now I've found a tree, and I'm just going to add that tree there. And so now you can see the tree is selected. So once I have it selected. I'll select the tree and then you want to go up to home and again press scale you have to have that selected if you have this uh, selected it's just going to move it if you have move selected it's going to move it also again rotate will rotate the uh, object but if i want to scale it to make it bigger or smaller i'm going to go ahead and grab this and then that's the way i can make that tree the whole tree smaller and again i can make it longer and so forth uh, models are a little different in that they uh, typically move the whole box at once. So basically each one of these does just about the same thing. They just do it in a different direction. So you now know how to scale objects to make them larger or smaller in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.